Hi, my name is Graham, and I'm CEO at Alias Encore. Our highly automated systems play a huge role in our ability to offer a better, lower cost typo squatting domain recovery service. So we really appreciate you taking a moment to view a demo of our systems. At Alias Encore, we're big believers in the importance of transparency in business relationships. So we've built an internet-based client portal, and even before you started working with us, we'll give you a login. This way, you can get a better understanding of the process, as well as evaluate our capabilities against our competitors. As it turns out, it's also a really nice way for us to demonstrate our systems. So you can log in right from our website. Before we get started, I should point out that we're using hawaii.com as an example, but they are not a client of ours. We're trying to avoid implicating actual cyber squatters or divulging any confidential client information. So we've chosen to demonstrate with a generic word domain name. If you've ever worked with Salesforce, you might notice that our interface looks very familiar. That's because we built our domain recovery system on the Salesforce development platform, which is called force.com. Force.com has allowed us to dramatically decrease cost and increase reliability by leveraging their state-of-the-art globally distributed data centers, cloud computing environment, and massive support staff. Instead of building our infrastructure from scratch, we've been able to focus our attention on typo squatting, research and development to improve our core technology. I often say that force.com is a completely unfair advantage for us. On this first page, you can see some general information about your account. The total number of registered typo domains found by our system, the URL where we'll send redirected traffic, a couple of traffic graphs, the top 10 typo domains, as well as aggregate traffic from all recovered domains for the last seven days. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Before we start doing any recovery work on your behalf, you get to approve the list of domains we'll be pursuing. You do that by clicking the Approve button, which takes you to this page. For each domain, our systems have automatically gathered a screenshot, ownership information, and technical information such as DNS and creation date. You can see the full size screenshot by clicking. We don't offer legal advice, but each domain that you'll see will be one that meets our strict criteria for recommendation of infringement. The final legal decision is left up to you. In this section, you can see flags for the various situations that we noticed that helped us arrive at our recommendation for this domain. Once again, to be clear, we're not saying the specific domain is actually infringing. This is just an example. So there's a lot of information on this page, but you don't actually have to do anything other than click Approve or Disapprove, which then takes you to the next domain. You can also click Skip if you prefer not to make a decision. All in, you're looking at about five or 10 seconds of work per domain, so most companies can get through this approval process in a half an hour or less. For comparative purposes, our competitor also offers an approval process, but for them, it involves a labor-intensive, time-consuming, error-prone Excel spreadsheet that gets emailed back and forth, and it doesn't even let you see screenshots of the domains, which is a super critical component of being able to make an accurate determination of infringement. We think you and your attorney are really gonna like our streamlined process a whole lot better. Once you've approved domains for recovery, we build cases which include one or more domains owned by the same registrant. In our back end, we click a single button and the cases are constructed automatically. You might consider asking our competitor to show you a live demonstration of how they manually construct cases and you'll start to appreciate why it is they need so many people in their recovery department. Your client portal lets you see all the cases, including whether the case is open or closed. You can see the details for each case, including all the emails back and forth with the cyber squatter and the list of domains in the case. Here's the original demand letter we sent as seen from the portal, and here's what the cyber squatter receives. The email text itself is brief and customizable, referring the cyber squatter to the attached PDF documents. The attached cease and desist letter can be customized with your logo or even made to look exactly like your letterhead. Also, the content of the letter can and should be modified to meet your attorney's specifications. Each email also includes auto-generated transfer instructions, which tell the cyber squatter exactly how to turn over the domain name or names, which depends on a number of factors that our system automatically takes into consideration. I'll also point out 
that our system can send these emails with your name as the sender. Again, for comparative purposes, our competitor also sends demand letters automatically from their system. They send theirs as plain text emails, which look less convincing and are more likely to be rejected by spam filters and never delivered. We've actually done A-B testing of the PDF version against the plain text version, and we've discovered that the PDF version is hands down more effective. Also, our competitor can't modify the email sender to accurately reflect your company name and doesn't automatically generate transfer instructions. Without those automatically generated transfer instructions, a huge amount of manual labor stems from having to explain to cyber squatters over and over how to transfer domain names, which is another reason why our competitor needs more people in their domain recovery department than we do. For each recovered domain name, you can see information specific to that domain, including traffic metrics. By the way, we're also automatically sending sub-ID information to the affiliate networks so you can track revenue by domain. But we think the most important information in this entire portal is this recovery date. Fundamentally, we provide a one-time service. We recover a finite number of typo squatting domain names, and then we're done. It so happens that we let you pay for the service over time through your affiliate program as a means to reduce your risk. But in order for you to know when each domain is fully paid for, you have to know when it comes off contract, which is typically one year after this recovery date. If the domain were to accidentally continue to be monetized after that period, you'd have essentially shifted the problem from one cyber squatter to another. So to us, it is extremely important that you have direct access to see the recovery date. Also, our system is set up to automatically stop monetizing recovered domains through your affiliate program after they come off contract, and instead send the traffic directly to your homepage while you consider where you want to ultimately transfer the domain. You'll get an automatic email a month before to alert you about that. Also, you can get a complete, live list of all recovered domain names and their recovery date. When it finally comes time to draft a domain dispute case, we can automate that too. So, to summarize, we're not offering a self-service domain recovery tool. Indeed, we'll be working really hard on your behalf to recover typo squatting domain names. The difference is, we'll be working more intelligently. If someone tells you that typo squatting domain recovery is a labor-intensive task, perhaps that's true. For them. For us, we've invested heavily in research and development to automate repetitive tasks and to relentlessly remove people from the equation where possible. The end result is a better, lower cost type of squatting domain recovery solution with a great deal more transparency. And by the way, if you really want to spend a lot of money and use a big team to manually recover domain names, at that point, shouldn't you just hire a law firm? Companies have been doing that for the last 10 years. It hasn't made sense financially and it doesn't scale. We think it's time for something better. There is a typo squatting scan tool at the bottom of every page on our website. Try it to see screenshots of all the .com domain names that are siphoning your traffic. Then contact us and see how easy it is to get started with Alias Encore, and also how we can help you turn a pesky problem into a significant new source of revenue.